Okay, I've got a short review for you this time because it's for a quite basic but powerful plugin for Premiere Pro and Final Cut Pro. It's to correct your white balance and your colour on your video without loads of tweaking, without a colour palette that you just sliders and all that. And yeah, you might want to do that if you're making some feature film and you want to get everything just perfect and precise. But the chances are you might not be a colorist, you might not be a color expert, or you might just be wanting to bring out loads of, say, tutorials on YouTube or product review videos on YouTube, and you don't really need nor want to spend a lot of time messing about with a bunch of color and sliders and learning color correction, things like that. You just want to make a video that might be slightly off, like too sort of uh, browny or whatever, nice and white, the white's cracked, black's cracked, all that sort of thing. Just basic correction, real quick and simple, and get on with the editing. Well, now you can. There's a program by Crumple Pop for $79, and it's purely drag and drop. I'll show it to you. In Final Cut, it's pretty much the same if you're... How to use this is pretty much the same if you're in Premiere Pro, I'm sure. But I'm using Final Cut, and I think you should be able to still follow along. It's so simple. Under Video, in the Effects, you scroll down to the category of Utilities, and here you have Auto Balance. You just drag and drop it onto the clip that you want to be affected by the effect. Now we can select that clip and look in our Preferences. Now, in our slider over here, which, as you should know, you can get from this little button here, we can see under the effects, we can turn off all effects like normal. And then under the effects, you have various things, any effects you applied. Now, previously, I applied to this RT Color Balance, which is a free plugin you can get from other people that allows you to use, do your color correction a bit easier. But still, it takes knowing, you know, sort of just a load of sliders, using, let's see, Command 7, using your video, uh, your color scopes here, RGB Parade, and adjusting it and getting it just right, and it takes a lot more time. And uh, as I'm not a colorist, I'm never quite sure if it's quite right, so I just sort of get it roughly and hope for the best. So let's just turn this off, and as you can see, hold on, I'm actually going to take both of these off okay so now we're back to the raw clip that I filmed as you can see that it's not looking too grey it's looking a bit yellowish really a little yellowish a bit brownish maybe so let's apply our effect there we go you can see the difference straight away we've gone from a brownish yellowish tint to actual white because this sort of cloth it's on should be white this should be white this bit here should be grey, this rim here should be grey, and of course, fleshy tone of my hand. But if we turn this off, you can see it was a nasty yellowish colour and looked quite bad, really. All we had to do was drag and drop this plugin, Auto Balance by Crumple Pop, and instantly you've corrected your video. And that's really all you have to do. Now, if you want a little bit more control, we have white balance here, and we can adjust audio uh, auto we can have it on auto which is what it was on by default and that worked absolutely perfectly for this clip but we can always select manual and we have a temp slider here and we can adjust it like that or we can double click here and type in a value and hit enter there we go or in final cut we can also drag up and down to adjust the slider with our mouse but let's go back to auto and there you are it's a simple case of let's just take it off again simple case of finding your plugin in the plugins folder dragging and dropping it on the clip that you want it to apply to and boom don't have to press out we don't have to adjust we don't have to use the slider here, the drop down, we don't have to select anything here, we don't have to select the slider, we don't have to type anything in. All we had to do was drag the plugin onto the clip and automatically its algorithms detected what it thought was correct and it was. It worked great. So this is great if you're not making some big feature film and you want to do lots of precise colour correcting and colour grading and all that. If you're doing something a bit more amateur or you are putting out on your, say, YouTube channel a ton 
of tutorials or a ton of uh, stand-up comedy videos or whatever it m might be you do on your YouTube channel or your product reviews or whatever, and you don't want to spend an hour each time or whatever carefully getting everything just right in your color adjustments and color grading you just want it to go from being slightly off tint to a nice natural looking picture and with natural looking whites this is great you just click it and it applies it and it's all done for you you couldn't ask for a better color balance automatic color balance plugin than this so let's just to take a quick look at the website. Okay, here we are, Crumple Pop, and this is a product page for Auto Balance. As you can see, it's Automatic White Balance plugin for Final Cut Pro 10 and Premiere Pro. Auto Balance saves you time by automatically adjusting uh, the white balance in your video clips for you. No need to find a white area of the frame or fiddle with the color wheels. You just drag and drop it. It's got a powerful white balance algorithm. Uh, it makes you work a lot faster and it really does. And it's just drag and drop and that's true as well. It's immediate download once you pay and it's $79. As you can see, powerful algorithm. And there's an example of a off-white video that's got kind of a blue tint. And there it is after you drag and drop the plugin work faster, drag and drop, and that's really all there is to it in a little video here to demonstrate. And that is all there is to it. I really, really recommend this. Yes, if you are going to make some big hour and a half, two hour feature film, uh, say a horror movie, you might want to color grade it so you get the atmosphere just right, etc. But if you're doing something like tutorial videos, review videos, uh, some other type of YouTube video, or even perhaps, even if you're making a short film just as a hobby or whatever, you, this might be all you want to do. Just fix a, the basic image, and that is what this does, and it's drag and drop. Nothing to learn, nothing to think about. Drag and drop it, and it's on, so it's definitely worth it. I'll put a link in the description, along with this video, to the website, crumplepop.com, and directly to this product page. I hope this video has been useful so you can see the plugin in action and I've told you a bit about it and I recommend you go check it out and I do recommend this plugin I really do it's so useful so thanks for watching please and like and please like and comment on this video and if you could do me a huge favor and subscribe to my youtube channel as it just takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot thanks